making our Christmas memories. Hello. So it's one o'clock. It just flipped as I looked at it. And I was filming all morning. So uh, my stupid watch died. I might as well take it off. I was filming all morning. And this is what I did. So you'll see this in like an upcoming reel or TikTok. Don't quote me on that. But I redid the living room. So we added pillows and we added the whole mantle situation here. Why anyone purposefully chooses to use flocked things, I do not know. The original um, stuff like garland I was going to use sold out. And then I saw this one and I thought it was really pretty. And I stand by that. It is pretty. But flocked stuff? Wow. Wow. The amount of times I had to vacuum Wow, and then I did this one. Wow times infinity. Um, this one actually has a thing that you're supposed to plug in, but I'm just, I don't think I'm gonna plug it in. <laughs> like, it's fine, just like that. Uh, but we did a bunch of just little things, like Santa's big old head right there is full of chocolates, and I don't know, I think it came out cute. I mean, the original, my entire original idea sold out. Like, literally every single thing sold out. So then I did this. I would love to have some bells, like, if I had bells, like, big, you know, Christmassy bells I could hang. Um, yeah, I don't know. That'd be cool. The tree could use some more ornaments as well, but I'm not one of those people who, like, decks out the tree. We always had really simple ones. We only ever had a set of bulbs and then, like, the little porcelain, um, you know, these little things. Ceramic, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But, like, this is all I ever had on my tree, like, as a kid growing up. And eventually we had, I don't know, my mom started them in, like, 1999. And then she would do them for, like, individual families. She would do them if you went to the military. She would do them whatever. So she ended up having a million of these, like, the specific ones. And so that's what I have on my tree as well. It's really just, like, emulating my childhood tree. I love when people deck them out, but I don't have it in me. All them ribbons and everything. I do need to pull the skirt out, but I'm going to fill it with gifts anyway, so who cares. You painted your nails? Oh, you put on fakies. Let me see them. What do you think of the mantle? You like it? Man. Yeah, I put them in the middle. They're not from Target, but they are we made them originals. In, like, grade, I think. Yeah, they're really cute. Yeah, it's like do you like it though? It's yeah, I didn't do it last year, but I thought it was cool. I love that the candles flicker. Okay, let's see. Okay, actually, you don't have to put them out. Put them closer to your shirt, actually. That might help. There we go. Nice. Did you file them down at all? No. But they fit? Mm -hmm. Did you use the glue or did you use the sticky? It was sticky. Yeah, those will pop off then. But I mean, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to have them forever. Yeah. Just make sure you don't I accidentally eat them. Three. Like, Three more. Yeah, because we need one for like 2020. 2020, 2021. 2020, 2022. Yeah. Do you like, you like how it looks? Uh -huh. This took me forever, you guys. Like, you yeah, guys would think this easy. takes two that's seconds, but... It took me forever because I was filming. I love this little tree. Obviously it lights up, it's so I cute. I dig. I really hate that it gets dark so early, but like, what are you gonna do? Um, it's oh, my stupid watch, it didn't charge last night. I was gonna tell you what time it was. It's only 2.30, it's only been an hour and a half. And it feels like nighttime. You probably can't tell because it's so bright still, but you can, like if you're looking outside, you can definitely tell that. Bye! <laughs> the sun is making its way out. I've been sitting here importing footage, going through stuff kids asked for. I usually get them... Where are they? Can they hear me? I usually get them each like a big gift, you know? So, I've done a ton of the shopping already. Like, it's... We're, we're approaching like... Re we're really like 70% there. Um, I have to figure out which nieces and nephews I'm shopping for. Normally we do like an exchange where you pick up like three other kids and you get them gifts and then like, so they'll end up getting gifts from at least like two aunts and uncles basically. And then um, that's how we do it because there are a lot of kids. I wouldn't mind buying for all of them personally, but I can understand why some of my siblings wouldn't necessarily want to buy for every single freaking kid. Um, for me, it's a joy to shop for people's children. It's just a fun time, but uh, <laughs> I don't mind that we split it. All depends on the year, so we haven't actually done the split this year. I'm not sure what's going on. I've always been a proponent of us like buying stuff for each other, and we almost never do that, so I suggested doing maybe a Christmas party this year, but I don't want to host it. I mean, I will, but like in my brain, I don't want to because then it feels like a whole thing that I just know I'm gonna overdo it and it's just a whole freaking thing. 
So I don't know, maybe I'll end up hosting, maybe I won't. But if I do, I'm thinking we'll do like white elephant. Do you guys do white elephant stuff? You know when you like bring a gift and then it basically kind of round robin people opening them and stealing them from other people. The last time we did it, it was really funny. <laughs> It was really funny because it was back when I was still doing Let's Talk About Sex videos and someone, some company sent me like toys basically to my P.O. box, but they were like guns. They were hot pink with, you know, on the end, like, and they vibrated and they did everything else. And I was like, oh, this is literally too good. This is too good. So it was like that and a bunch of old pornos. And I was like, all right, I'm wrap them up. Let's go to the wet elephant. <laughs> yeah, like, that was a great year. I know who took them home too. I am not sure what I'm buying for family yet. And then I have to figure out my mom and Solomon. I got my mom one thing. I have something else in mind, but it feels like not enough because my parents are lovely. I, you know, I never know what I'm gonna get them. I, I always end up figuring it out, but I don't know yet. And then Lewis, I do know what I'm gonna get him, but um, it's kind of hard to source. So we'll see whether or not he wants it or will like it, girl, I don't know. He, I don't know. So you and I can find out together, okay? But for now, I'm going to try to clean up a little bit. I, what do you guys do with gingerbread houses? We made these ones yesterday and I just don't, what do you do with them? Like throw them directly in the garbage? Are you nodding or no? Louis <laughs> picked his up and tossed it away this morning. Um, I just bought some wrapping paper and stuff yesterday. I have some like Christmassy stuff to put away as far as decor goes. And then what we're gonna do right now, I gotta pee and then I'm gonna make an iced coffee because I am, oh, and I wanna order some film. I want to put together this table. So I got a table from Urban yesterday. Yesterday, maybe a couple days ago. I got like a, it's basically, they, I think they labeled it as a console table or maybe it was a record table, but it's because I wanna pull down the record player that's up here and I want to actually put it down here so I can see it. It's really hard for me to uh, put, it's above my head. It's hard for me to finagle it. Um, also, I wanna get a new record player because this one is pretty not, it's not very good. I knew it wasn't gonna be great because it was only like 40 bucks. And I knew it wasn't gonna be great, but I wanted to see like, Sarah, are you actually gonna use it? And I don't, now I know I'm gonna use it. So ideally I would like to get a new one. If any of you like know anything about record players, like um, I don't like the sound quality of this one. That's, that's my complaint. I don't enjoy the sound quality, which is my brother. So if you have any recommendations, I'm looking to spend, I don't know, under, 300 bucks ideally um but i would expect that it's probably going to run me over over 150 probably so i'm thinking it'll be between 150 and 300 ish like i said that one was like 40 bucks i'll probably just give that one to my one of my kids um but yeah anyway we're gonna put this table together so i'll show it to you in a second okay just kidding before we do this um i just made a coffee <laughs> I haven't had I, I used to drink iced coffee pretty much every single day at two o'clock um and i quit and not necessarily a good or bad thing, but today I was like, girl, you need one. And I was kind of happy to be back at it. Um, I've actually been listening to A Court of Mist and Fury, like a lot. Um, I don't know, I didn't realize I had spent so long getting ready and decorating today because I got through about four hours of it today, which was really closer to eight hours of it because I listened to it at two speed, um, two times the speed. And so I'm kind of hankering to get back into it. So because I wanna listen to it, I'm actually gonna go to the basement. I needed my tools to like put this thing together and my tools are in the basement. So we're gonna go and finish up those Donkey Kong shells by we, I mean you and I, and I'm excited for it. I've been working on the game room. Um, I did make the decision that we are not gonna be moving the pullout couch to the basement um, and, and like covering it and blah, 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 trying to make it work. Instead, I'm going to get, <laughs> I'm obsessed. I love turning the corner and seeing the mantle now. That's really, I'm pretty jazzed about that. But I have decided that I'm just gonna buy a couch. Like I, I, I've gone so far with the game room to start theming it out. And I have more still like some lighting, um, some neon lights and stuff that I, I wanna do down here. But you know, it's like little by little. Otherwise, it's so overwhelming. <laughs> Why is the TV on? Who is even home? Oh, look what he did. He he stacked the things to make them into like a little table. 
I would have never thought to do that in my whole life. He must have been like laying over there. Girl, I don't know. I wasn't down here. <sighs> anyway, we have a bunch of boxes here still. Those are going to finally go. And then I can finish up the shelves. So let me show you what they look like. And then I'm going to put on my headphones while I do it. It's cord management. I'm working on cord management today. So, um, again, <laughs> this stuff is going to go. I'm going to work on this today. Someone obviously had lights on. Boom, here are the shelves, you guys. I'm working on managing the cords. I was gonna throw them through the back of the wall and pull them out, but I just don't want to because it's so many HDMI cords, it's so many power cords, I have no desire for it. So instead, I want to just work with a cord cover, which is what that is right there. Why are you over here? Did I stick you here? I must have. Again, it's not done, so there's just some stuff hanging around. This is going to be a dock for the Nintendo Switch and my boy um, Luigi over here. And then I just have a few random barrels just kind of stuck. I thought that was fun. And behind this, we actually have an HDMI splitter, um, which I I'm going to... That's what I'm doing today, is the cords. <laughs> so that's the plan. And then if you can see my vision here, maybe you can weigh in on this with me. Okay, hopefully you can kind of see... Hopefully you can see from where you're at, okay? Obviously here's the TV on this wall. And that is a wall of arcades. You're on a wall of arcades right now. I obviously have the pinball machine here. And originally my idea was to put a couch on this wall over here where the tubs was. But it's so far from the TV. And it almost feels like a different area. So I need seating. I need something in here. Like why else have a TV in here? And I think in my little brain over here that it would be ideal to have a small, small <laughs> sectional basically. So like an L-shaped couch um, that came down here to about the center of the light and it came out just like two seats ish maybe like a chase situation i don't know but is it stupid because that way you know you can still look at the tv like you could easily see the tv from here you could also see what's going on with the games etc um and then we could take the pinball and the the i think i'm gonna get nba jam the arcade and maybe nfl blitz i don't know maybe like an atari legends kind of one and then we could put those over there and we could put them on that wall and we could add a couple more games or something else. Do you have any ideas? I'm really struggling with the seating. So that's where originally the couch was going to go. Uh, but I just, it's so far from this area, which is where you would theoretically be playing games and stuff. I don't know if you guys have any idea. I mean, it would be weird to just put a couch across that wall because that to me would have been the most obvious choice. But then it's at this angle to the TV. But I don't know. Maybe you guys have an idea though. I have been racking my brain and that's why I haven't purchased anything because I don't want to buy the wrong thing and then hate it and then have to deal with it. So if you have any brilliant ideas, let me know girl because me and Pinterest have not figured this one out quite yet. We're getting there though. I feel like I'm getting closer. So I've managed the cords. I think about as well as I'm going to manage them for now. I'm considering... Um, I purposely did kind of like a more, almost like an industrial looking cord cover. I didn't want to try to fully disguise it. That's what I'm saying. It, it kind of looks like, it, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Mario too with like the pipes. Because it, you know, I, well, I'm just saying, it's, it's the essence. Um, I did end up connecting the surge protector over here. So I'm going to buy, I think, a trash can like a little themed trash can and it'll just cover the surge protector, uh, which I have on that side. But beyond that, I did notice when I sent a picture to Ashley that I'm missing one little red brick and it's absolutely just well. destroying my brain. So I'm gonna print and cut and paste that. Um, oh. But we just verified that the Nintendo docking station works, everything works. Um, we haven't checked out the Super Nintendo. You're right, I have not tried the Super Nintendo yet. Why don't we flip? Um, but anyway, I'm I, I put the HDMI splitter behind this thing, so it's a lot neater. The only thing that I'm still considering is taking one of these like long ones and running these cords through it, like on the back. You see up here, like because this HDMI is so thick, it's kind of like if it would lay flat. I'd be fine, but it doesn't want to lay flat. Like it wants to be a pain and wiggly like that. But I mean, how noticeable is that? If you guys were just walking down here, you're like, la-dee-da, la-dee-da. 
How noticeable are those cords? I feel like they're not that noticeable, so I kind of want to leave them. No place for stall fall. Oh, but it works then. I feel like I need a second one of those because yeah. we only have one. Um, yeah, okay, dope. And then I cleaned off the chairs, so I'm going to take the bin, the bins upstairs, and I'm, I'm really excited about it. I think it looks really good, and now that the cords are managed, I feel like my job here is done. Do you want to play the, a game? Kind of, but I would have to be really close for that one. Do you want to play on the Switch? Oh, maybe, yeah, if we can both play, I guess. Yeah. That'll work. All right. Dinner's done, I'm done in the basement. I'm trying to organize this little room. I did buy a bunch of like stuff from different small businesses. So I'm gonna feature those in these videos, but I don't feel like it's a good time to do any of them. Like none of them are kind of going with the vibe of the day. So perhaps manana. But I was going through those, trying to get them all put together. And some of that stuff I bought the other day, I wanna get some of that film. I gotta get some film. But um, I'm done. The house is clean. Things are getting organized. These gigantic freaking boxes going to my mom's house. She's been working. <laughs> so tomorrow it's going to go. And we're going to go ahead and put together this shelf. So it's going to go right underneath the record wall. I'm just hoping for the best. And I hope it's easy to put together. We shall see. But me and my trusty electric screwdriver are going to get the job done. Lickety, lickety, boot. I think I've been filming in the wrong setting. <laughs> okay, anyway. It's done. That was like incredibly, ah! I thought that was a person, it's a chair, y'all. Oh my gosh. I'm just getting spooked now. I gotta post something. Um, Yeah, so it's much smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be about the length of three. Well, it it really is actually. Uh, okay, so maybe in my brain I thought it was gonna be the length of four. I'm not mad at it though, it's cute, it's tiny. It was overpriced though, for what it was. And I'm mad because the day after I bought it, it went on sale. Um, that was annoying, but I like it. It is pretty much exactly what I needed. Something super lightweight, easy to throw around if need be. And now I took that off of there. Those are gifts. I got to wrap those, not those. Those I want to mount. I want to put some Harry Potter wands, wands up on the wall. Um, but you know, whatever. I don't like that you can see the cord, but also I don't care. I'll probably put some stuff actually in here. That's just like an extra record holder thing. And I am a little mad that they don't fit in there. <laughs> you have to put them in the open spot, but it's fine, it's not a big deal. And I rearranged these so they were like a little bit more cohesive. There's a white one that goes here, it's right here. So look, it doesn't get that loud. Uh, you probably can't tell how loud that is, but let's put on. So all you can really do is play with a pitch on this one and then you can connect it to Bluetooth if you want. I think for the price it's it's solid, you know? And then this one does close. I showed it to you guys when I first got it. How cute is Mariah Carey's Christmas album? I love how pretty some of the records are, like this one, come on. Um, but yeah, I bought like a really neutral color. I think you could definitely, you know, get a lot more fun with this. And if I find that I'm not using it very much, I could always sit it down there and display something up here or you know, whatever. But for the most part, I just keep it open. And most of the time I was just keeping a record on it because I didn't want to keep getting up, um, like going up and down. But yeah, I, I dig it. It's really easy. So much easier to line it up now that I can actually see it. That was fun. <laughs> All right, I'm actually gonna edit vlogs now, um, which is perfect. I have some boxes back there that I think I'm gonna dig into as well. but. I'm just gonna end the night editing vlogs for probably, I don't know, it's seven o'clock now, so probably for like three or four hours tonight. And then that's it. Tomorrow's Monday, baby. It's back to work. I should take this makeup off. I use that, um, you guys told me to use primer or use waterproof mascara or change my mascara. So I've been trying different ones. It's coming down less, but it is still coming down a little bit. But I use that Charlotte Tilbury um, concealer. I like that stuff. I like it on top of something else, but like overall, I don't know, my eyes are looking a little sad right now, but it's work time, baby. It's work time. Attempting to respond to blog comments, but cat. Cat will not allow it. Look at this guy. Dog. You guys don't know how many times I kick my coffee, my water, my vlog camera. They just kick it right off the desk like it's dog. 
You're not little. You're a thousand pounds. Like me. We cannot do this, Crash. Let me get it squashed appropriately. Contractors have returned. Where's the thing about? Oh, as helpful as Crash. Well, yeah, finger blind. <laughs> oh. This one? Yeah. So cute. I'm going to get a white extension cord to hide it under there. Live, laugh, love it. I don't think I ever showed you guys a final product. Oh, these are finally leaving. Hey guys, how the heck are you? Uh, my parents just left. They put up my shades. Show us. No. They didn't freaking send me the remotes. Not only did I accidentally order three of them, they accidentally forgot to send me all of them. And they forgot to send me the Wi-Fi bridge, which allows you to like control the shades via your voice. And I'm only trying to automate the basement. So funny, right now I have the Google Home plugged into the smart uh, surge protector, where I told you guys you can like shut off everyone individually vocally. And right now I was like, hey, hey you, you know what I said, uh, turn off the game room and it turned itself off because it was plugged into it so lol i gotta fix that but i got a package and this is for my dyson i hate my dyson i hate it it sucks it dies after like two seconds it looks like this and anytime i complain about it <laughs> which my uh sister-in-law used to work at dyson and she was like, yeah, you got like one of the weaker ones. Well, th it was still so expensive, weak or not. It looks like this. It's okay, it's the V7, all right? Apparently that means it's garbage. I don't know. It's garbage. I've had it for a few years now. I don't know how many years, whatever. But it like does not suction. <laughs> Jason never loses suction. Your mama never loses suction because this vacuum sure does. But it sucks. It lasts like four minutes if you're lucky. If you are a lucky friend. And if it actually has this on it, it's exceptionally horrible. It's not like it's clogged. I've cleaned it. I've cleaned the filter. I've, cleaned, I've done what I could do. And some people are like, just buy a new battery. And I'm like, fine. I will try that because I'm willing to try that. But I'm so disappointed in it. All this to say that it comes with like this hanging thing. Like you can mount this. It's connected right now. You can mount it into the wall, and that's how I used to have it hanging because you like insert it, and that's how it charges, right? So it just, it's connected. I'm sorry, I can't show you. <laughs> but a little light just turned on to show you it's charging. Now, it's gotta charge all the freaking time because it's got that and it only lasts for like two seconds. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna replace it. I'm not gonna junk it. I, I considered buying a new one, but like it's blowing my mind that these vacuums are so expensive and they don't last. Like I have other old vacuums that have stood the test of time. The Bissell I got a few years ago, perfect. Battery life, can't even remember the last time I charged. Okay, I'm lying. Actually, I charged it on a Sunday. But before that, I couldn't have told you. Could Probably a freaking month ago, okay? The, the battery life is wonderful, it's great. It just doesn't get into like the little nooks and crannies. If you have a great suggestion, I mean, I have a Shark, I have multiple Bissells, I have, I have, this is Crash. I have Crashy, you know what I mean? He doesn't help, but he certainly knows how to clog it. If you have like a wonderful suggestion, if you're gonna tell me like, you need the Dyson V15, you mean like a $600, $700 one? I gotta spend that much money for it to work? For it to suck? The way his mama sucks? I'm just playing, I gotta stop saying that. Because I don't trust it, I don't wanna mount it to the wall, but whatever my cousin puts in the new outlets, I'm gonna still be charging it over there. So I bought a stand, <laughs> and I've seen these where you can put your stand-up vacuum and your attachments, and you can put your um, Robo vacuum, which I have one of those as well. Maybe I should put it up here, and it would be like better, it'd be like more functional up here. But I had it in the basement, and that boy could not handle it. He could not handle carpet, girl. Uh-uh. And I was afraid he was gonna roll over some poop or something one day, and then just absolutely destroy the house by like taking poop on a vacuum throughout the whole carpeted area. <laughs> I was very nervous about that. So I'm gonna put this together and then I'll show it to you, but um, then I gotta go get these kids. So hopefully I can do this before. Shouldn't take me very long. I can't imagine it's but a few screws, if any. Maybe it's just one of those like connected kind of things. I would love that. All right, here it is. So it's just a little stand, as you can see. 
you just like screw your vacuum thing into it and then you can put attachments down there but I'm not going to do that because I only have these two attachments and they click into the base and then you can go plug it in wherever and it'll just stand up on its own like I said there's some that come with like they, they're bigger they have room for you know the bottom vacuum they have room for all kinds of whatever but this I think I'm going to go stick into the closet and I'm just going to run the cord under the door which is going to annoy me and we'll see how long that lasts but um, it didn't take very long to put together. It would have been much quicker actually if I didn't have nails because there are these little teeny tiny screws. No, this is not going to show you. This is how small the nut is though. And you have to do this. Sorry, it's not focused. You have to do that beneath a piece of metal. Like it's a little much. If you have acrylics on, Godspeed, girl. It's me. Hi. No. 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 I'm the problem. It's me. Um, I just got my Illumicrate, so I'm gonna open it. I pay for this, I buy it, because it looks interesting. Is it me before you? What is that? What would it be that? I don't know, it looks like a That would be dope, I wish. Um, this one is after light. Illumicrate's like a subscription box that comes out quarterly, this one at least. And you don't, I don't know if you know what's gonna come, but I don't know what's gonna come. This one is Make You Mine This Christmas by someone. I stopped Owl Crate because it was like $40 and you guys never used the stuff that was in it. And if you read the book, I was lucky and like I can get a book for $12. Okay, but it's still like 45, 45 bucks. So eventually I stopped it. This one just came with a pair of socks with snowmen on them. Can I take those? I'm wearing long socks. You like long socks? Knock yourself out. Thank you. Comes with a really pretty picture, love. Are you gonna do that? Or can I put Hello, it in it's room? me, the author. Huh? Can I put it in my room with my other pictures and stuff? From do you office? like this? It's very pretty. Yes, okay, you can have that. All right. I'm, I'm losing my stuff by the second here. This, I don't know what it is. Oh, how pretty. Oh, it's an ornament. Oh, and it even matches our tree. It does match our tree. Sorry, I want it to focus. It's an ornament. It's really pretty. Yeah, put it on our tree. Okay, and then we have Ever Wished It Could Be Christmas Every Day? Ever Wished It Could Be Christmas Every Day? Ever Wished That? I don't know. The only rom-com you need this Christmas. Friends to Lovers, Mistletoe, Mistletoe Me Cute and Unrequited Love. My own personal relationship is unrequited. I'm just playing. Boy Next Door, Festive Time Loop, and Skinny Dippy? What's going on? Exactly. Baddies. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Yes. A Luma crate. Um, here's the actual book. It's what? But unrequited love. It's like when one of them is like that and the other one's not. Isn't that called being friend zone? Friend. There's no such thing as a friend zone. There's only guys who are confused and don't realize that. And you know what? I digress. I digress. Okay, so this is it. And the one thing I do like about Lumicrate is that you get special editions. But this one and the last one. Look, I'm going to just say that sometimes they do a good job on the first one. Let me put it that way. Sometimes you don't need a special edition because it's not quite as special. But this one, I don't know what it's supposed to look like. Actually, I do. And this is the original one. It's adorable. It's a, it's fine, but it looks like it was written in 1984, you know? Which is some people's vibe. Make you mine this Christmas. And then we have the red uh, pages here on the side. The Christmas wish. Wait a second, this is literally not the same book. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm stupid. So this one is, all she has to do is pretend to be Christopher's girlfriend. All she has to do is survive Christmas. All she has to do is not fall for his sister. I'm so confused. Oh, okay. I'm like, wait a second, what's happening here? Um, her, him, her. Okay, so I don't know, I'm gonna put it on my shelf. We'll see what I get to. I am in this close, and by this close I really mean like this close to being done with a quart of Miss and Fury. I will report back when it's done. I'm gonna make something to eat. The kids decided to do random stuff in the air fryer, so who am I to stop them from living their best lives and me not making dinner? <laughs>
Actually, I'm reheating dinner I made like two weeks ago, but I had frozen it. It is pretty. Much like you look at, it's so pretty. Look, we matched it. Look at us. I'm so excited for when I can wear my scarf and bow tie this week. Yes, very cute. I am. I am bombing. You hear burning? Roasty. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Well, check it. Check it. I am. Ooh, they on top. We're reheating burgers, and the kids put little breeze on top of them. It looks so goofy. My I love it. I it love to so see it. Goofy. Movie. It does look cute. Mm -hmm. Make you mind this Christmas. This one looks cuter though. I kind of wish I had this. Like, what is this? This is just an advert for like a different one. Oh, cute. Hey, girl. Hello. They're getting dirty because I'm skating outside now. Oh, that's why they're dirty. Yeah. Gotcha. Because when I stop outside. That's why I'm dirty because I go outside. Oh, when I like fall. Oh, when I'm like about to fall outside, I'll like. I only fell once outside. Though. You need it's a helmet, awesome, sister. So. so I'm making these. I'm making it. Why is my screen so yellow? Hold on. Aha! Welcome to less yellow screen, Sarah of the future. Stop putting it on record and put it on auto. Thank you very much. So I had some green beans and some carrots that were like, "Help me! I'm dying!" Because girl, they were dying. And uh, I put them in here, and then I threw a couple of potatoes in there, and look at them, look at them, I alive, the carrots are my favorite. ready to eat. You like the carrots? Yes. The kids already ate, but I think Jay's gonna eat a little bowl of veggies. Yes, and I then I love the veggies. That's good to hear. And then the air fryer was working tonight, y'all. It was working tonight. Look at this. clean that part? Look at this sad chicken. Are you supposed to clean that part? I don't know, guys. Are you supposed to clean the top part? I've wiped it down before. It we clean this every single time we use it. And then I hear some people talk about like, oh, it's cleaning the air fryer day. And I'm like, wait, what do you mean? Don't you clean it every time? Like today we didn't clean it between the pot stickers and the chicken, but we put it in the dishwasher every day, pretty much, because we use it pretty much every day. And then it's perfect, well, we which is why I'm so surprised. Okay, yeah, you got me there. I do not clean off all the little tiny crumbs. You got me there, brother. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, mama. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's Coco, guys. I know that it's really easy to get up from. I know. That's why I stopped myself from drawing And then I stopped. Nala roller skates around the house all day. Every day. Every day. I would be down to get some roller skates. Go, go, get down. This we're we're all mutually terrified of you. This is how I stop when I'm about to fall. Oh, when I just like stop in a tight space. It's also really to the easy to get up from, too. I've literally never seen you do that. You know, until yesterday when I kept talking to you in Spanish, I did that every single time. Hang on. She's a Coco! How did you get up here? Get down. She's just down. <laughs> I didn't see her get up there. Yeah, I said, Coco, get down. I thought you were. I, I thought she was putting her nails on here because she likes to do that, and then she scratches it all Coco, up. Coco, don't get in. No, I don't show do you it, little mom. Okay. Go ahead and show us uh, your other mm -hmm. method, dear. Mm -hmm. I do this when I'm just like trying to slow down. I'll just like. Was that it? No. I'm oh. This. I just use this foot and go like that. What if you're about to run into this? Amazing. Who are you guys' favorite roller skaters? Let us know. I'm gonna make some food though. I'm so hungry and I threw some of that jasmine rice from, I was gonna say Taco Bell. <laughs> Trader Joe's in here. So I guess this is two cups of rice. I've never had it. Uh, it. Takes three minutes in there and then you let it rest for 30 seconds or three minutes if your kid is showing you how she stops on roller skates. And uh, let's, let's see how this turns out. I thought the previous day was gonna be the last day of this vlog, so I did the bye on the wrong one, and I deleted it from there. And anyway, bye.